Okay, class, I just want to go over some of these um, Excel commands that would have helped you on this test. Um, if you're if you're starting to understand how to use Excel. So if you're not, I want you to use this video to kind of get yourself comfortable with it. All right, so on this particular test, let me zoom in a little more. Um, so this was the binomial one. So if I've got uh, 50 adults randomly selected, what's the probability? 30, exactly 30 I've used there. So for binomial, I start typing in binomial and I get to binomial.dist. So number of successes. So that's the how many we want exactly 30 over here. So that's 30. Trials, 50 adults are selected. Probability of success is this is a decimal. So 54 um, as a decimal would be 0.54. And then cumulative. Cumulative means that we're going to add them all up. Um, from 0 to this number. So this would be the probability from 0 up to 30 or at most 30. I don't want that. I want exactly 30. So I select false and I can do 0 or just type in false. So there's that number. All right. So exactly 30. Now for part B it wants to know what's the probability. If you read it carefully it wants to know what's the probability that at least 30 all right, so that's 30 or more. Well, this is 30, okay? So what I can do is I can insert, all right, it's still got that in there, but I could start at 30, 31, highlight those, and just drag this down until I get to the upper number, which is 50, all right? And then go back to this, and instead of this being uh, 30, I could change this to that number and now it's 30 everything else stays the same and then when I double click this is the probabilities of exactly 30 exactly 31 32 and then I can come over here to sum and sum those probabilities and this is the probability of at least 30 all right which is the same thing as 30 31, 32, dot, 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 all the way up to 50. And I, I would be adding those together. So this is the probability of at least 30. And I did that by, if you, again, you notice it's A19, this number, 50. So it's the probability of exactly 48, exactly 49, exactly 50. Now the other way that you could have done this I'll just do it right here in this cell. Is start off with that binome.dst. And this time I'm going to use uh, numbers. I'm going to say 30. Uh, 50 probability of success was uh, 0.54. And cumulative, this time I'm going to say true. Now I want you to see what happens. If I add these two together, it's a little bit too big. All right. Oops, sorry. Clicked on the wrong cell. This plus this. All right, it's a little bit too, it's bigger than one. And the problem is, this one is um, adding from 0 up to 30, including 30. And this one is adding up all these things that included 30 also. So 30 is being included twice. And the way that I would not include 30 is to back off here and use 29. So this is the probability from 0 to 29. And then this is the probability from 30 up to 50. So now the probability is perfectly 1. It's every possibility. So what is this now? What does this do? This is the probability from 0 to where we tell it to stop. Okay? Well, if I want it to be from the next number on up to the largest number, this being the largest number, then I could just do 1 minus. So this is how many options there are. There's 0 up to 50 possibilities when you're talk talking a binomial distribution. Binom.dst 
some number comma 51 will add up from 0 until you stop at this number. 1 minus that will pick up from the next number and go to the end. So if I wanted to do the probability from 30 to 50, then I do 1 minus binomial dot dst um, 29 comma 50 0 0.541 and this will give me the same thing as that. That's, we don't need this anymore. But that's another way to get this number instead of having to make this huge you know, table of values. I could have just done it with a single line if I understand how that cumulative works. All right, so again, the one there means true All right, for cumulative. And that means I do want you to add from 0 to 29. But take it away from 1, and that leads from 30, the next number, up to the upper number. All right, so that's a way you could have used that sheet to do these um, at least some number uh, probability questions.